So many people still feel threatened, Sue Ann, by Liv, and that's their defense mechanism. That's all it is. Because, I mean, I have sat here today and watched, and for two days, three days now, watched wall-to-wall coverage of the Masters with a lot of people who I respect. And and the the little petty talking points and the little, the little you know, establishment type uh, overriding agenda, so to speak, is just, it's absolutely maddening. It's absolutely maddening. But they're they're doing their job they're doing they're they're towing the line for now because they're all basically controlled by by the uh, pga tour but that's I, I think that's the one thing that is to me i haven't i haven't watched obviously um because i just got back but i have kind of scrolled through the x and and sort of seen like obviously polarizing opinions about what's happening and it's just i think the saddest part of it is that these 13 guys, whether you like it or not, earned a spot to be at the Masters. And I just feel like the least that you can do is have mutual respect for the fact that they earned their place at the Masters. And as we always say that, like the Masters is a place where you kind of just, you put all your differences aside and it's about Augusta National. It's about the Masters. It's about the major championship. It's about the best players in the world coming together and competing. That's what it should be about. It shouldn't be the other storylines. There are so many storylines they could be talking about that could be so good rather than, oh, it's live and PGA. And it's like, come on. I mean... Enough already, There's you know? one commentator who I know and I like personally and I used to work with who last year on the set said, um, and, and no, it doesn't, the live guys don't count. None of those guys can win. None of those guys can contend. They, they don't even play real golf anymore. And live guys last year finished second, for, second, second, and fourth. And now all four of the top four are live guys with Rom. Um, yesterday he said the same exact thing. And I'm like, I just, I have the last year's on my phone. I'm like, how, how do you say that with a straight face? How do you, how do you purport to have any credibility when a large collection of the best players in the game aren't playing the tour that pays your checkbooks or pays your paycheck? So you have to go out of your way to be petty and, and spiteful toward them. I just don't get it. It's going to be so fun to watch when this all, when, when it all comes together and all of those all of those puppets realize, oh, we didn't get our way. We um, uh, we didn't get our way. And, you know, their live might not be that bad after all. It's just going to be so much fun to watch. They're going to be crawling. It's it's just, and look, I, I respect everyone else's opinion. I think you have every right to not like it and to like it, right? It's yeah. it's You're allowed an opinion. But at this point, it's kind of like, like I said, it, it, Patrick Reed, Phil, Rom, um, Baba, all these guys wanted the Masters. And it's yeah. like suddenly just because they play on a different tour, they're like undeserving of being there. Whereas if yeah. you fast forward to 2018, it was like Patrick Reed winning the Masters. It was like the most amazing yeah. thing. And now they've just, it's almost like taking it away from him, you know, or any of our past winners. It's like, why? You know, why are you doing yeah. that? It's, it's, it frustrates me because I, I, feel bad in some ways because it's like they've earned their way to Augusta National. They've earned that yeah. drive down Magnolia Lane and it's like everyone else is just belittling <laughs> their journey to the Masters. It's like that is not fair. That is not yeah, fair at all. Not, you shouldn't be doing that. I mean, some <laughs> of I've, I've t- yeah, I got it on, on the side right now. There's a lot of things that they bring out that are positive about Mm -hmm. the quality of player that are playing in the masters that happen to be live golf league members. Although they're uh, on these shows, they're not live golf league members. They're live tour players. Um, There is no such thing as a live tour just so they know. Um, But they say good things about the player, but they always back it up with, uh, I was watching the par three contest today and the overriding sentiment was, man, it's just, we just don't get to see him anymore. I'm, and I'm sitting there watching this on ESPN going, yeah, you can. All you got to do is channel surf and CW is a network. It's one of five that's in every house in America, about twice as many homes as you're in. It doesn't take much effort if you want to see him. And fortunately, 
millions of people around the around the world watch us on our various platforms, including on the CW in the States. It's maddening. And by the way, we have a it's just maddening. We have a Live Golf Plus app, and you can watch any shot, any time of any player that you want. All you have First to do time is that's a couple ever been of clicks. Done. Yeah. Right. All you have to do is a yeah. couple of clicks, and you're there. You can watch whoever you want to watch. Well, you know. There's a reason Anyways, why their ratings ranting. are down across the board, and our, there's a reason why their ratings are down day after day, week after week, and ours are growing uh, exponentially in some cases. So, yep. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. What can we but do? I, we're, know, just I, I we're, say... we're just shills. We're just shills. We're just shills, Sue We're just shills. Yeah. No. We're just. Yeah, we're just shows for the for the recreational <laughs> league. Yes, the men's scramble. Taylor Good should be there based on his accomplishments last year. Period. In my opinion, Dean Burmester should be there. Dean Burmester should be there based on what he did last week. Uh, a far more impressive win than I think happened by for uh, for um, Akshay Batia in San Antonio, uh, in terms of the strength of field, and also uh, Louis Ustazen because it's just not the Masters without him. Yeah, those are my three as well. Um, it is going to be weird. It's going to be weird, um, you know, not seeing Louis there. I think he's played in just about every one since 2009. I know he withdrew the last couple of years, perhaps because uh, of injury, but uh, this will be the first one he's not been invited or been in the Masters. Yeah. So yeah. Well, they're all very invited. Strange. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. You can earn your way in, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, um, but you still get an invitation. They do not have to <laughs> you honor. You still get an invitation. Those. That's right. Yes. The Masters is my favorite week of the year. I, I love the Masters, and uh, I always have. And I remember, you know, my first time going there in 2018. I was in awe of being there, so much so that I really was terrible at my job. Not that it's any different from now, Jerry. I'm going to get ahead of you. And deprecate myself before you do. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I think it, it's certainly one of the, the times of the year that I look forward to the most. I think most golf fans look forward to the most. And um, yeah. I just hope, I really hope that this week will be about the Masters. It will. It'll be yeah, no, it was last year. The, 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 golf. Yeah. the broadcast itself was about the Masters. The commentary and the narrative was obviously um, something that is trying to, uh, trying to still prove a point, and I don't know why. And I think the edict is there. This tournament rises above all the politics, and that is what, that is what the Masters committee wants to uh, emphasize. And, and remember, their TV contract is a one-year contract, year after year. It's only been with CBS, but it's a one-year contract. With everybody who's mm -hmm. on site and has a contract, it's a one-year contract. They hold all the cards. Yeah, and I, look, I, I super respectful that they do do that, and I think that's awesome that they're doing that, you know, in terms of <clears throat> being neutral and fair, and, and that's the way it should be. You know, that's the way it should be. It's about the best players in the world playing together.